I sort of got my start doing commercials uh, because when I was in New York first getting going, uh, when I was like 27, 28, uh, I had hair like this. I had like great, not, not this white, actually. My hair was like sort of salt and pepper, which was, you know, kind of weird, but uh, great for casting. So I, I kept getting... Once I got a commercial, I started getting all these commercials like young dad and just like concerned parents and all that. And um, so I went in um, uh, to this audition um, and they it was for the Olive Garden. I don't know if anyone is familiar with the Olive Garden restaurant. Uh, they uh, famously provide unlimited soup, salad and breadsticks. And wow, uh, I, I sort of, I, oh, wow, I didn't know it was all three. Yeah. And I kind of had a rule that I only wanted to do funny commercials. I thought like, well, I want to get into comedy. And if I'm doing commercials, as long as they're funny, I'll do it. And uh, so I went into this one and it was not funny at all. It was like very sincere. My wife and I out on a date and the director who was there at the audition just fucking like lied to me. He was like, just, uh, he was like, improvise, do whatever you want. So I was like super weird in the audition and sarcastic. And he was like, great. Uh, I'm a big fan of comedy and I've seen you in other commercials. So anyway, long story short, he cast me in the commercial, I go to shoot. Um, they let me fuck around all day long. We're in this fake restaurant that looks like Olive Garden. I'm with this other woman who's playing my wife and the whole t day for like 10 hours, I'm like throwing out weird reactions and weird jokes. And I'm like, I don't know what they're going to use, but this is fun. And then at the end of the day, the, the last thing he was like, just so we're covered, can you just do one like super straight and super sincere? And I was like, sure, man. Like at this point, I'm like friends with this guy. I, so I thought, and so of course, you know where this is going. That's the take they use. They use like the really shitty, oh. sincere thing. And so I was like so upset um, that I um, I think I was out here in L.A. when it started airing and I was still living in New York and I was so embarrassed because it was like so sincere and so shitty. But Rob, this commercial was like Sunday NFL Sunday football. I feel yeah. like if you watched NFL Sunday football, it was on a minimum of 15 times. Like yeah, they the started playing the shit out of it. And I was like, I remember John Glazer. Uh, called me and was like, what is this commercial? And I was just like, so humiliated. Everyone was like texting me and stuff. And uh, so, so all that said, uh, let's, let's, sh right. let's show this piece of shit. Here we go. This is great. Um, all right. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Great, we're treating ourselves tonight. Oh, anniversary? Birthday? No, it's just Monday. Olive Garden's two new Alfredos. Crab Venezia with tender snow crab and a seafood Alfredo and new steak and portobello Alfredo at Olive Garden. All right, let, let's go back to it. Are you sure that's smart? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, here we go. Hi, how are you? Great, we're treating ourselves tonight. Oh, anniversary? Birthday? No, it's just Monday. Olive Garden's two new Alfredo. I love it. Right, one more time. Hi, how yeah. are you? Great. We're treating ourselves tonight. Oh, anniversary? Birthday? No, it's just Monday. Olive Garden's two new Alfredo. I mean, my fake red hair. Who says to a waitress right when she comes over, we're treating ourselves tonight? Like, you're bringing of... them in. You're one of the cool couples. You're like, we're going to become friends. You're in my, <laughs> yes, you're my server, but we also can get past that. You're not my I servant. Was... I was so mortified because it, at that point, you know, when you're just kind of starting, like I only wanted to do like cool yeah. stuff. And, and, you know, I think we were doing human giant. Had we already done? Human well, giant? this is the part of the story that I was talking about the other day. So this, yeah. this commercial is playing. And again, correct me if I'm wrong, but this is how I remember it. This commercial yeah. is playing. It's playing a ton. And uh, in, in the, in the airing of it, it's so popular that they re up your contract and oh, it's yeah, good. Yeah. Like they're like, Hey, will you like, can we extend yes. it? And when they extend it, you get even more money and you're getting residuals. Yeah. So in this world in which we're not making that much money, you're getting a sizable chunk of change yes. because it you have a successful commercial. Yeah. And I remember Aziz and I like sat down with you on the couch. Cause Aziz is like, dude, we can't have this commercial on because we're human giant and we got to be like, we're this and we're not he that. He said that? I don't oh, remember that. Yeah. And I remember this sitting there and, and you were like, well, yeah. And then, so you were like, we had this conversation and you're like, yeah, you're right. Like he tried to talk me out of doing best week ever too. He can't do that. Like we got to go here. And I was like, yeah, you're right. And like, we, like, you know, we were very much like, we are this now and we can't do that. And in my remembrance of it, you were like, okay, I won't do it. You 
you opt not to re-up the contract again. A yeah. week passes yeah. and they like recast you. It's exactly the exact same commercial. Like just That's with a correct. guy, same woman and same server. Yeah. Everything was the same except for yeah. you. Yeah, they came to me. Uh, thank you for remembering that. You're always my memory. Uh, <laughs> they came to me and they said, yeah, we just want to extend it. I wouldn't have had to do anything. I just just let them keep playing it. Yep. And uh, because it had, it, it had been a long there. time. Yeah, yeah, it had. I, I shot it like a couple of years. Oh, that's what it was. I shot it like a few years before Human Giant, and I was always worried about it because I, I was just, I never knew how it was going to go. And then it started airing during Human Giant. I think it was like right when Human Giant started airing. Yeah, that's why I was so embarrassed because the show had just started, and I thought, you know, like, oh my god, we're going to be so famous. We're going to be like, like these. We're going to be these like really cool comedians on MTV. And well, I was so like, worried about it. You have a sketch and where so, like you're fucking a dolphin and then it's like, we're treating ourselves. Like, you know, you didn't want yeah, to have like those yeah, two things. Like, yeah. Well, you know, you just compare yourselves like other people in the state and, and Tim and Eric yeah. and all those guys. And I was like, those people would never do that, you know? And um, so, yeah, they came to me and they were like, Hey, it's been a few years since that, since you shot that commercial, the contract has expired. We want to renew it. And I, this is what an, an idiot I am. I told my agent, I said, tell them they can re-air it if I if they'll give me a million dollars. I told I told my agent to tell ah. them that. Like I'm nobody. And 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 my agent was like, Well, don't you're an idiot. And so yeah, you're absolutely correct. They went and they reshot it with someone who looked very similar to me. And that guy made a ton of money. And well, and they, so, what you don't remember I mean, is that guy was Anderson Cooper. And because of that, he became incredibly successful and had his own CNN news show. That's right. And that's why that's why we have this rivalry. Um, <laughs> yeah. And, 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 you know, it's uh, yeah, maybe it's it's it might only be embarrassing to me. It's just one of those things that's like so sincere. It, it, and I've it, done, it, I, yeah. by the way, I've done a ton of shitty stuff. I'm sure you have as well. And, and yeah. I love digging that stuff up because you know, it's just part of it. You just fucking, you never know how something's going to turn out. I mean, a commercial sucks kind of sometimes anyway, because it's so, you know, you just feel like a sellout on yeah. some level, but like, but you know, there's tons of movies that I've done where I've like, Oh, this is going to be great. And then it's like, you see, and you're like, Oh, that, I, that one, that, that one. Yeah. Good. You never know. I mean, you never know. 